Yesterday, the New York Jets had Riley Reef visit. We'll talk about why that is a perfect, perfect player to bring in at this point in the offseason. Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today, I'll be talking about the New York Jets finally, maybe adding a swing tackle. Before we get started today, I just wanted to mention you can follow on social media at Matt O'Leary NY. If you haven't already, please make sure to check out the Just Jets podcast. New episode comes out every single Monday. You can call in, leave me your questions. I'll answer them on the show. Last but not least, we got Patreon bonus content over there. You guys know it. On Fridays, we have player write-ups, all different kinds of fun stuff. We also have the Exit 16 West podcast where, uh, well, you get an interview with another Jets creator, just me and another Jets guy hanging out talking this past week. It was Green Bean. We talked a lot of Mo Lewis. We went down memory lane. It was a ton of fun. Check it out. I'd appreciate it. So who is Riley Reef? Not to be confused with Riley Reed, of course. The 2013 first round pick for the Detroit Lions. Spent some time in Detroit, then made his way to Minnesota, made his way to the Bengals last year. And now is a free agent. So what do we know about him? One, he was a former first round pick. And was he a star? No, he never turned into a star. He was very good as a rookie. Uh, and then it's kind of just been okay over the last few years. Like I said, bounced around a little bit from team to team. Um, he played right tackle last year for the Cincinnati Bengals. The previous four years, he was Minnesota's left tackle. So he has experience on both the left and the right side. Uh, with the Detroit Lions, he started out at left tackle with his in his final year there. He moved over to the right side. He has played more left tackle than he has right tackle, but he has NFL experience on both sides, and he's been solid. Again, is he a, a, a good... I don't even know if I'd call him a good starter, but he has a ton of starting experience at both positions over, over the last nearly de decade, essentially a decade, this guy started in the NFL, it would, it's very reminiscent of what the Jets did last year with Morgan Moses. Now, to be fair, Morgan Moses is a better player uh, than what Riley Reef is, but Reef is fine. I have no issue with the Jets bringing him in, especially because of what their current tackle situation is outside of these guys. Yes, Max Mitchell is maybe someone you feel the most confident in, in, in the depth department at offensive tackle. But I, I think I speak for everyone when I say that I am all the way out on Chuma Adoga and Connor McDermott, unless he's catching touchdown passes on trick plays. Um, I, I just, <laughs> that's, that's going to be a no go for me. But last year, 21 hurries, four sacks allowed. Uh, is that awful numbers? No. Is it great? Also? No, it, it's, it's fine. Depth. You are hoping if you're signing Riley, you, you're not wanting him to start. But if there's an injury, you would be in a position where you could survive, which is exactly what happened to the New York Jets last year. They went into the year where it was Makai Becton and George Fant as your left tackle and your right tackle. Morgan Moses was going to be the backup in the first game of the season. Greg Van Roten, who ends up getting benched, rolls up on Makai Becton, and then Becton's lost for the entire year. So George Fant moves over to left tackle, who was downright phenomenal last year at left tackle. He was exceeded all of our expectations. Morgan Moses comes in, plays really well at right tackle, gets a contract with the Baltimore Ravens to be their starting tackle. Um, it worked. It was, a, it was a good signing from Joe Douglas, one of his better free agent signings, and I think bringing in Riley Reef would do just that. Now, they've had other guys in for visits recently, like Larry Ogunjobi or Kwan Alexander. And while I think both uh, Kwan Alexander and Ogunjobi would help out the defense, if I could only pick one of the three, it's Riley Reef, because I think the offensive depth and making sure that your freaking second year quarterback, which is the most important investment that your team just made, is upright and fine in an emergency situation is more important than like, I don't know, adding another interior defensive lineman who's not very good against the run, but could pass rush or adding Quan Alexander, who is OK, but hurt a lot. Um, and again, I, I would be OK with adding both of those guys. But if I were to prioritize the three of the three, Riley Reef, I think would be the most important thing that the Jets can do, because, again, you offensive line depth, you always need it. Injuries come up all the time, and while I am a believer in Makai Becton, 
he only played in one game last year. So you need an insurance policy. And right now, are you confident in the insurance policy at the tackle position? Because I'm not. I just went on last week with Richie from Jets Media, and we did a whole video breaking down the offensive line. And I talked about the starters. If everyone stays healthy, this line could be a top 10, 12 unit in the NFL easily, easily a top half of the league. I would make the case for top 12 or top 10 unit. That's how good they can be if everyone plays to their potential. But if there's an injury, especially at the tackles, I'm not that confident. A fourth round rookie in Max Mitchell coming in and starting, that's scary. We've seen enough of Chuma Doga since 2019 to know that's how that's going to go. Connor McDermott almost got Zach Wilson killed last year multiple times. He can't play at the level. He's basically a practice squad caliber player. So is Chuma. You need depth, and this would be a perfect addition. And like I said, yeah, they need help at safety. Yeah, they need help at linebacker. Yeah, they could probably use another defensive tackle who would be good against the run, which is why Larry Ogunjobi kind of confuses me a little bit. But that's a story for another day. I think the most important thing would be Riley Reef. Get him in here. I'm all for it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think the Jets should sign him? Let me know. I'm Matt O'Leary. Subscribe if you're new. Give me a thumbs up. Appreciate the love and support. I'll talk to you next time.